Um. Uh. Ooh. Uh, uh, what are the worst weather conditions you've ever raced in? Uh. Um. Ooh, yeah, for sure. It was last year in Andorra, in the Fuelta stage, 13 or 14, I guess. It was uh, the whole first part of Fuelta. It was beautiful, like this, 30 degrees, sun, everything, and uh, and then suddenly it was zero degrees, rain. Oh, it was freezing. I also had to stop that day. Tour down and uh, last year. Uh, stage three up around Sterling. It was up near 50 degrees, just horrible, horrible. The worst with ah, there must be like uh, uh, last Milan Sanremo, uh, or maybe last year, <laughs> where we had to stop, where there was I think seven centimeters of snow on the road when we stopped and we went through the seven centimeters to, towards the bus. That was the worst, I guess. Yeah, there's been a lot. I guess one comes to mind probably this year. Uh, Giro, Stelvio action. <laughs> what are the worst weather conditions that you've ever raced in? Uh, I think this year in the Giro was, was quite bad. The Gavi and the Stelvio in the snow that was up there was one of the one of the worst, definitely. This is this was quite it. The first week here and uh, also in Argentina we had uh, two years ago in Argentina we had also above 40 degrees. So I, I, I hate it actually, so. Ooh, uh, I think maybe Rutland Melton Sickle Classic in the UK. Um, they had like a real Arctic wind blowing in and rain. So even though it was four degrees, sort of the wind chill factor was apparently below zero. Uh, there was prize money for the top 20 and I think there are only 13 finishers, plus the mud and everything. Yeah. That was grotty. Bayern Rundfahrt this year. Yeah, the first two stages was absolutely horrible. <laughs> It was freezing cold and ra rain non-stop from the start to the finish, so yeah, that, that for me was the worst. What are the worst weather conditions you've ever raced in? Last week. <laughs> no, worst uh, weather conditions... Um, actually, last year, the, here in the Vuelta, uh, Andorra stage, yes. yes. And uh, yeah, last week was uh, really hot. Uh, so I, Worse, yeah. It was uh, it was difficult to say this. Yes, uh, must have been somewhere in Flanders. I was first year pro. I remember I did three days of West Flanders, and it was snowy and things like that. And uh, <coughs> the race was cancelled, but uh, a lot of the pallet bunch stopped in uh, in uh, somewhere, uh, yeah, under uh, under uh, a shelter. But the feeding was 5k further. So I decided to go further to the feeding. But all those years went to back to the shelter to get the rest of the bunch. And I was there at the feeding, nobody was there. And then I went into a small cafe with a, you know, a real Flemish cafe. There was a small stove in the middle. And uh, I could sit next to the stove and we get a coffee and we, we didn't have to pay, but I did not know my Swanier's number and because I was near pro and it took like two hours before they, uh, they saw some bikes next to the cafe and they took us out. It was a nice story, but uh, that, that, that was bad. Uh, I think uh, San Remo two years ago. And yeah, that small list. Yeah. yeah, San Remo, I think. Three? Oh, it's a time for you, man. I thought so. You get that? 